Hello guys, my name is Anna, Ukraine, and we are in Kyiv. Hello, Helen. Hi, welcome uh, to Kyiv. <laughs> Thank welcome you very back. much. Uh, Helen, tell us a little bit about uh, life in Kyiv. Hello guys, my name is Anna, Ukraine, and we are in Kyiv. Hello, Helen. Hi. Welcome uh, to Kyiv. <laughs> thank Welcome you very back. much. Yes, and I'm back. You know, I'm so happy. You know why? Because McDonald's are open. You know, that's this still close in Kyiv. We already have them open here. Uh, Helen, tell us a little bit about uh, life in Kyiv. Uh, what's going on right now? It's 20th of January. It's pretty warm outside. That's why we're without jackets. How is life in Kyiv? I can tell it's quite well. I was back to Kyiv in June uh, and I can tell that, you know, right now I see same traffic jams as before the war and uh, we have many people who are already brave and they're not afraid of any alarms. Everything is open, many places are, even McDonald's is back to life, <laughs> which means that if they're back, it means that you know, it's quite safe here. Yeah, life is coming back, right? Yeah. The foreign com companies are coming back to Ukraine. Uh, what about restaurants, hotels? Uh, the restaurants, where... hotels are open. The only thing that the airport isn't working yet, so the only way to get to Kyiv is uh, using a train or a bus. I would recommend the train because it's more comfortable. It's overnight where you can take a sleeping car. From Poland, right? From Poland or mm -hmm. from Romania. And now they are opened a new direction from uh, Kishinev, from Chisinau. Directly to Kiev? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's 15 hours, I think. 15, a bus ride? No, it's a train ride. Train from Kishinev? Yeah. Hmm, I live in Odessa and I didn't know about that, but <laughs> how often do you have air alerts? Uh, do you still have explosions here? Uh, what's going on here? Right now we can have an air, uh, air alert like once in four days or once in five days. So they're not that recent anymore when before we had like a few alerts a day. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we have explosions sometimes, attacks, but I would say that uh, air defense system works the best in Kyiv. I think they are protecting Kyiv the best out of all cities of Ukraine. What so. about girls? Uh, how many ladies left Ukraine or how many ladies back? Can you tell us percentage of uh, all the girls in Kyiv who've been registered with us? I would say that uh, like 30% are out, but 70% are back to Kyiv because east or west home is best. So many girls yes. are back to Ukraine. Is it possible for girls to travel? How is how girls accepting it? Are they okay if guy uh, invites her to Poland or in any other country? Are they okay with traveling around? To be honest with you, I wouldn't say so. They prefer to see a man in Ukraine, in Kyiv, because you should understand that, you know, they are all working and they have to make money for their living, working and uh, a trip to Warsaw or any other city takes one full day. So one way... At least, right? Yeah, one mm -hmm. way. Uh, two wars, so let's say, and one uh, day back. Again, if you have some questions, uh, you can write us, you can ask questions, and Helen will be glad to answer you any questions about Kyiv, and I'm, as usual, will be glad to, uh, to answer all your questions about Odessa. See you in the next video. men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at keevpersonals.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.